So the question I definitely get asked the most is what's the best way to learn how to code? How did you get started making games? Things like that. And I totally get why. I think for me, the hardest part about learning to code was that beginner's hump between knowing absolutely nothing and like understanding the basics. And I think that's because learning new things is a lot easier when you know how to learn them. And when you're first trying to learn how to code, you don't even know where to start. I can't really pinpoint a specific moment where I learned coding. For me, it was a pretty long process. I'd have periods where I'd be really trying to learn, following lots of tutorials, and then I'd have periods where I'd kind of give up for a bit. And then after a long time of doing that, I think enough finally sticked to where I could make my first game. So yeah, I wouldn't really recommend looking to my experience as a guide. But now that I'm sort of on the other side of things, I can tell you what I do differently. So tutorials are kind of the go-to for people when they're first starting out. And I think that's why a lot of people get stuck early on, including myself. You can go through an entire tutorial series and come out knowing absolutely nothing. That's kind of the nature of following tutorials, at least for the majority of them. You don't really get a chance to think critically about what you're actually doing. So what I would do instead is just come up with a very, very simple idea. I'm talking like a game with like a circle and every time you click it, it moves and you have to see how many times you can click it in 10 seconds, something like that. Just like something super simple to start with. So take that idea and break it down into its parts. So for that game, uh, how to create an object, how to check if an object is clicked, how to randomize the position of an object, maybe how to create a countdown timer, and then just Google how to do those things in whatever language or engine you're using. This way you're kind of actively figuring out how different pieces fit together to make games. And then once you're done with your first project, you can come up with a new, slightly more complicated idea that takes some of those pieces you've learned how to do and adds more to it. And before you know it, you'll be able to do a lot. So yeah, hopefully that advice is helpful to someone out there. And I'm going to be posting one of these every day, so comment your question below and I might answer it in the next video.